There's been more election drama in Fiji this evening after the Opposition People's Alliance Party leader, Sitiveni Rambuka, was called in for questioning by the country's Criminal Investigations Department. Now, he left the police station a short time ago and told reporters waiting outside that he hadn't been arrested or charged with anything. Mr Rambuka. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Oh, no. Normal, normal police work. What happened? Normal police work. Have you been arrested? No. What did they ask you? <laughs> no. So what did, did you expect this Rambuka? to happen? Yeah. Down, down, down. No, I, don't, I don't want to answer that. Okay? What's going to happen now? Have they now? charged you with anything? Sorry? Have they charged you? Do you fear anything? Everything? What? Do you fear anything? No. Have no. they charged you with anything? No. No charge. Thank you, Mr. Rambuka. Good luck. Hey, Naga. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Rambuka. Okay. Supporters, Mr. Rambuka. Pacific reporter Marianne Farr is on the ground in Suva and joins us now. Now, Marianne, what do we know about this situation? Well, what we know is that the main, Fiji's main opposition party leader, Sitiveni Rambuka, was called into the Criminal Investigations Department for questioning this evening. We're told that he had just come out of a meeting with the Australian High Commission when police asked him to come to this police station here behind me. Um, the... Uh, People's Alliance Party General Secretary and the head of the Fijian Methodist Church were also called in for questioning. They were in there for about an hour. Now, when Mr Rambuka emerged, um, he seemed in quite good spirits, as you, could, as you just saw. He was laughing. He called for peace and calm within Fiji, and he'd said he hadn't been charged with anything. When we asked him for clarification over what he'd been questioned about, he said um, the police were asking him about some of his activities over the past few days. So quite a vague answer there. Well, what has he been uh, calling for over the past few days? So in the wake of Fiji's election, the People's Alliance Party and three other political parties in Fiji have called for a forensic audit of the Fijian Elections Office system for publishing results online. And this is after a glitch occurred in the mobile app that they were using to broadcast results when vo voting closed on Wednesday night. Now, today, the parties um, held a press conference and actually called on the people of Fiji to support this um, request for a forensic audit. Um, they're saying that they believe that there is no transparency in the system and the publishing system. Um, the Fijian Elections Office has um, responded indirectly to some of those claims saying that um, there is transparency and that all the results are made available to the political parties. Um, and it is worth noting that there is a multinational observer group who's been overseeing the Fijian elections uh, this week. They released an interim report today and said at least, uh, you know, in the vote counting process that they've observed, there haven't been any major issues to report. And Marianne, where is the vote counting sitting at at the moment? Well, we've just got some updated results um, from the Fijian Elections Office through that application that I was talking about. And it puts the People's Alliance Party and Fiji's uh, Fiji First Party, which is the incumbent ruling party, neck and neck at about 38% of the vote. Now, it is worth mentioning that uh, only about 25% of votes have been tallied uh, so far. So it is still early days um, and we're expecting to see a final result on Sunday. Marianne Farr, thanks for the updating us. Marianne Farr reporting from Suva there.